back with another video. <clears throat> I want to go over some things on video. Um, if you haven't seen First and Foremost, if you haven't seen the movie To Save a Life, it's on Tubi. It'll give you something to think about. It's a good movie to watch. Um, that's kind of what I want to talk about today. Not just that movie, but some other things I want to get into. I don't know how long the video is going to be, but there's a lot of information I like to go over. A lot of stuff that could change your life if you really think about stuff. Don't be quick to judge. Infection hit my infection hit my mouth. Don't be quick to judge. People do that shit to me all the time, and I get very really upset about it. And I think that's like that's like the devil is attacking me on it. Oh, he's in that head. He's all this. No, never been into hard drugs. Always been in straight with him up there. Um, I wanted to get into this because, I mean, it was running through my mind after watching the movie. It gave me a lot to think about. Maybe if I put it out there, maybe it will give you all something to think about. So, instead. But, um, knowing that this world is only temporary and this ain't our home is a good thing to know. But, time's short. And I've been telling people, well, time's short. If you see everything happening in the world, there's signs. Other than that, no one time short. Take a listen. People have choices to make. This is the big one. When I post it on my Facebook, um, every choice I make matters. It's on my door. Before I go out to work, it's on my door. I look at it. Every choice I make in this life, it matters. Because at the end, if you make the right choices, this is the thing. If you make right choices, you get a reward at the end. But the right choices are the hardest ones to make. Think, Really think about that. They're hard to make. Because no one wants, the, no one, no one wants it hard. Everyone wants life to be easy. So the easier way out is the wrong way. <laughs> and that's where the world's gone wrong. Really, really think about that. Um, I don't want to get y'all confused with it, but it's true. Um, that's why people end up locked up, hung, hung out with the wrong people. It could be anything, honestly. And that's what leads to death. Even Proverbs even says that. If you read Proverbs, first chapter in Proverbs, do not go with them. Boom. Do not go with them. Do not be an entitled to them. Don't do not stay away from the people that. Oh, you want to do this? It looks like it's fun. It'd be fun just to go out and murder someone. Just just to go out and murder someone. Yeah, even if they were joking, that ain't right. I mean, that's common sense. If people know, but people's minds ain't right up here. So if your mind's not right and that depression is really hard to get out of. And that's why I wanted to go over that. That's another spirit that sits upon people that has thoughts in your mind that you listen to when you're feeling down. And it, that's why suicide rates have gone up. It's because they crash this economy or whatever it is and make people stay home. And when you're staying home, your thoughts, your thoughts wander all the time. You have different thoughts. Different thoughts come in. Like, that's just like a, I, I say it's like a spiritual thing. Being in a depression is a spiritual thing. So the spirit sits on top of you. It depends on what you what you do. So I can tell you about my su um on my suicide story, but that it brought me to it led me to a church and I realized my life has purpose, my life has meaning. And at the end of the road, there's a reward. That's what people don't understand. For all the good things you do. In Him. And trusting in Him. There's your reward. That's the real kicker. There's people out there that say. Oh I just believe. I believe. I believe there's a God. I believe. I believe. And they're not full hearted on it. They're half hearted. You're watered down Christians. That's what they call them. Watered down Christians. But if you really want to get into it. Read the book of John. I read the whole book of John and he says a lot of passages through the book of John. The red is all him saying all the stuff he said when he was here. 
Um, but don't give up on anything you're going through because there's always a light at the end of the tunnel. Honestly, there is. Bad times do not last. Hard times don't last. And that's the honest truth. I'm going to say that right now. You're going through anxiety and depression. That's the devil right there. Attacking you. And he attacks us because he knows we're God's children. And he knows there's something inside us greater than the world. Really think about that one. Greater than the, in the world because the devil runs this world that we live in right now. This temporary world. The devil runs this world. That is why sin has run rapid. That's why you see people killing each other. That's why you see people having sex. I mean, if God, God up there were to run this world, be peace, love, it would be joyful, it would be amazing, we wouldn't have to worry. It's like, that's why he made the heaven up there. So, yeah, he'll bring the heaven down on earth. Yes, that's going to happen. It says Revelation 21. Um, but um, I, I just wanted to go over this. It's called the new earth, which is heaven comes down and God brings heaven down on earth. And that's what happens just at the end, at the end of the whole thing. But we don't know when that's going to be. So you're always supposed to be prepared for the end. And I've been telling people, you never know. Because boom, I can disappear. Boom, I'm, I'm gone. And we're supposed to be out there encouraging other people. And telling other people. And that's what we're supposed to do. That's what we're sent to do. And by me almost. Almost dying. At birth. I realized my life had meaning. I was dead at birth. He gave me life. And I understand. I have purpose in this life. To not persuade you. But to give you good thoughts. To give you. Not good thoughts. But give you stuff to think about. And it's better for that than to keep you in that depression where you feel like you can't get out. And there's always a way out. There's always a way out. Give up on what you're doing and get out of what you are into. That's what it is. And that's what it's always been. And I've been on this for a long time. I've been on this for like two years on my YouTube. As you see like videos on my YouTube describing what we're going to go through and what the paths are going to be, what to do. And I did make a video on Facebook that says if you're left here after a rapture happens and you're left behind in that tribulation time, I have a video stating what you have to do. I'm not going to give it on here. It's already on my Facebook. So now I should make that public you can look up kenny miller and go public and then the video will be on there to view but because i'm putting this on youtube and facebook so it don't matter um points of it are your life has meaning your life has purpose you should know this know it absent from the body present with the lord we have that spirit inside us that's greater than this world. It already defeated it. Just do what's right. That's it. And it's hard to do what's right. Like I said before. It is hard. But there's always rewards for what you do. At the end of your life. You will be rewarded. And you're going to love what you see. So I hope this video helps you. If not. If I miss some points. You can comment all you want. And comment on things I should have pushed. Um, we have to stay in faith. And know God's taking care of us. That's it. That's honest truth. And if you're out there and you have it in you. Start telling people. If they don't want to hear. You know it's going to happen. Just like Jesus was mocked and scorned. And everything laughed at. He, he, it happened to him. Don't get discouraged. Keep at it. Keep moving forward. We're almost there, y'all. Love y'all. Stay in faith.